So today I'm talking about a P0603 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0603 code? Well, it's an internal control module, keep alive memory, CAM error. And what does this mean? Well, basically the computer that keeps the vehicle running is having an issue with its memory and storing data mainly with the RAM memory. And there's differences in the type of memory the computer's using, but there's a type of memory that needs to change depending on what's going on with the engine. And this would be things like drive cycles, camera crank learn procedures, throttle body learn, and things like this, or basically any information that could change constantly. And the computer's seeing a problem with this type of memory. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0603 code? Well, the first thing that's going to cause is that there's some kind of issue going on with the battery because all these different computer modules that keep the vehicle running, they need a good power source. And if they don't have a good power source, then it's going to cause issues. And so the first thing it's going to cause is going to be a dead battery. Also be sure to check out your battery terminals and just be sure there's no issues going on there. There's a good ground going down to the engine block and the body and different things like this. But the first thing is going to be that there's some kind of issue going on with the battery. The next thing that could cause this is going to be that there's some kind of charging system problem. And this would be something like a bad alternator, a bad voltage regulator, something like that. So if you have a multimeter, you can go check the alternator output and be sure it's not running super high or super low and that it's running where it should be which is usually right around 14 and a half volts. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of charging system problem. And then the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring issue or a blown fuse or something like that. So you can go through and check to see if you have any blown fuses. There can also be something going on with the wiring. There could be like an open, a short, a bad connection, something like that. A wiring problem can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot sometimes, but the next thing is gonna be some kind of wiring issue or a blown fuse. And the last thing on the list is gonna be that that ECM or PCM has just failed. It's just gone bad, it just needs to be replaced. Quite often when these fail, they can actually show burn marks on them. So if you could just go around the computer and just see if you could smell like a burnt smell or anything like that. Sometimes they do get burnt spots or one of these caps blow up or something like that and you'll be able to smell it. Not all the time. They can fail and you don't see anything and there'll be no burnt spots or anything. But it is common for components to get burnt and then you'll be able to smell it. So if you can't locate the PCM or ECM on your vehicle and just check to see if you smell a burnt smell then that would be a sign that that computer has failed and needs to be replaced. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0603 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.